Hello everyone, Martin here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your gameplay on your monitor that's 144Hz with the Razer Ripsaw on your streaming computer. Okay, so I'm here on my streaming laptop. Okay, this is a webcam for streaming and this is for the gaming PC. So at the moment we're on the gaming PC, okay, all you have to do is first step, okay, set up your Razer Ripsaw, okay. So I have my Razer Ripsaw here. Now I have it connected USB, right? Um, and it goes right down da -da 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 into my Surface Book 2, which is, of course, uh, what I'm using my streaming PC as. And my gaming PC, and what you want to do is, is that, take this, we look at it here. For the HDMI in, you want it to, to be there okay you don't want the out you want the in all right so I'm just gonna put that back right over there cool 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 now your gaming monitor this is my gaming monitor it's an MSI optics AG 32 C now it's 144 Hertz free sync monitor it's awesome and it technically does support G sync but I don't have that set up yet so either way you got it and you want to plug it in via DVI so plug it into your PC via DVI here we go, I'm going to show you guys real quick here. So I have, as you can see, DVI and HDMI. The HDMI is from the Razer Ripsaw, and the DVI is from the monitor. So everything else is connected. Remember, the Razer Ripsaw only connects really to this PC. So once you have it all connected, go to your OBS. So I'm going to cancel. Oh, that was just zooming for no reason. Uh, so now we're gonna go back to OBS. Okay, so now that we have all the wires set up, I'm gonna go onto my gaming PC and download two specific applications one, OBS, and two, a voice meter. So I already have them downloaded, of course. I'm gonna open up voice meter here and make sure now that everything's plugged in, it should show up Razer Ripsaw here. Now, uh, just double check here go to display settings make sure everything looks good I mean this also confirms that it's plugged in right so 1920 by 1080p yep and then extend these displays is really, really crucial and that's it um, for some reason it shows as one but whatever for voice meter you want to put your number one as WDM Razer Ripsaw and then whatever your headphone is so in this case it's just headphones make sure okay that everything's set up properly because it will mess up in OBS later so I'll show you what I mean so in OBS I have I have it all set up right now but I'll show you guys what to do get a display capture so add a display capture and a game capture so one is your backup or for whatever game doesn't work with game capture certain games for me, like Apex doesn't work. Certain people, certain PCs won't have issues with certain games, so I don't know. But just try whatever. Uh, game capture doesn't work for certain games, but display capture works most of the time, and it doesn't take up very much, um, like sp like like it doesn't. There's no difference in quality, so can't go wrong with it. Anyway, so I have this is my main display. As you can see, this is my main display. Um, my 144 four hertz monitor okay and I want to test out if I have audio this is very crucial because you want people to hear your gaming PC as well as you know whatever you want on the side your audio set up with your microphones and whatnot your webcams okay so I'm gonna play it and then I'm gonna look on OBS and it should show so as you can see the desktop audio did splurt out right now, one thing that's going to be crucial as well is now checking on your streaming PC. So you have it all set up properly on your gaming PC. OBS is registering that uh, your 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 audio is working properly. If you look at uh, how I set it up here, if I go into settings, audio. So I have my default. I just left it at default, and then I put voice meter just in case. Um, so that's what I recommend you doing. That's the settings. I let it just auto select if you're wondering my configuration it's not that important just auto configure it I mean like I don't have it's not not that necessary I have that much power for this PC 
my streaming PC anyways, and even for this preview thing. Anyways, we're going to get out of the Razer Ripsaw, the gaming PC world, and we're going to go right into the rabbit hole, okay? Here we are. Uh, this is on my streaming PC, of course. I have my webcams, uh, my display capture, of course, and my Razer Ripsaw. So these are all video captures. You want to go add, and then video capture devices. And then under video capture devices, you'll see Razer Ripsaw, pick it. I mean, it should automatically pick the best settings, but if you want to switch them, which I don't recommend, switch them. And then add it. It should be pretty simple, and it should show the secondary screen just like I did right just the secondary screen which is an extension right of your 144 Hertz monitor okay so that's easy so next thing okay it's all set up you have this base here for audio mixer got razor ripsaw I can put it all the way up I don't know why I put it down but uh, I'm gonna play it now in perfectly dark skies Bordel scale one there's there you go. So you weren't hearing it before because I had it all the way down, which is good because your ears probably are destroyed now. Sorry about that. But now you see that it all works out. So the audio, I was play, I, I just played the audio. I mean, obviously you guys know that. But um, by playing the audio, it worked out. So in a real world, you just go here, uh, display two, because it, it's weird like that, right? And then you activate whatever game you want to play. And boom, done. It's really that easy. There's nothing uh, hard about it. The only issues I had with this is USB and power. Yeah, like power outlets and you're driving a lot of USBs on this thing. Um, it, sometimes it doesn't work. You have to have USB 3 for sure and have the proper connections going in and out. But other than that, any other problems, let me know down below. I hope that, sh that should set you up perfectly for the Razer Rip Saw. I know the website can be a little confusing, but this is it. This is the definitive tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.